And these are the latest visuals that we are getting for you of uh, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi as part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. These are visuals coming in from Kanyakumari where the Congress leader and the former Congress president will kickstart this entire journey about 3,750 kilometers long from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. And the message that the Congress party is putting across is that BJP, which is in power right now, is trying to break the country. And it's the Congress party which is trying to bring together the nation. However, BJP says this is an attempt to revive a crumbling party, a party which has seen an exodus of the young netas, of the veterans, leaders who have been with the grand old party for decades, for generations, are now quitting the party. And this entire yatra, is about trying to get the Congress party back on its track. How successful this yatra will be, what kind of political mileage, what kind of political capital. Is the Congress party able to get out of it is a wait and watch. But it starts today. Himant Biswa Sarma, interestingly, the Assam Chief Minister and the former Congress leader has said that uh, Rahul Gandhi should in fact go to Pakistan because it's the Congress party which agreed for the division of the country. Palavi continues to be with us on the broadcast. Palavi, you were earlier elaborating upon the multiple objectives that the Congress party has in its mind when this yatra was uh, thought about, ideated, and now it has kick-started in Kanyakumari. Talking about this earlier, what we were essentially talking about the fact is the real political purpose behind it. I know they are saying that this is because they want to bring the country to me together because it's divided by the RSS and the BJP ideology. But the real purpose is clearly political. The Congress is facing a lot of attacks. On one hand, we have people leaving the party. Second, it's not winning elections. And third, AAP and TMC are eating into the voter base of the Congress party. And therefore, it is important for the Congress to use this opportunity to try and connect with the voters, to connect with the people. And Rahul Gandhi clearly is going to be the face of it. Rahul Gandhi is going to be the face of it. By the way, ahead of the elections for the post of the president of the Congress party, uh, would it be correct to say that this is trying to revive the brand of Rahul Gandhi? Oh, yes, absolutely. This is very an attempt to uh, revive the brand of Rahul Gandhi. You know, the criticism of Rahul Gandhi, Anusha, we all know, has been that he does a disappearing act a bit too often. You know, it's a flash in the pan kind of style of politics. And they want to negate that. Uh, he's going to be spending at least 150 days, over 3,570 kilometers frugal existence, to use yes. the words of the Congress party, simple living, no five-star culture. Mm. And he's going to have a team of people who are going to be accompanying him and he's going to go through at least 25 to 30 kilometers per day. They feel that this is the best opportunity where he can show himself as not an entitled politician. Because remember, mm. that's always been the tag which has been attached to him. Now, not an entitled politician, politician who's trying to hit the streets, connect with the masses. Perhaps that's the kind of branding Rahul Gandhi needs as a Neta. You're right, Palavi, that that's been the criticism. But can one yatra really fix it? Well, I mean, if you go by history, there are yatras which have worked for politicians yeah. who've done it. I mean, you know, Jagan Mohan Reddy comes the most in, closest in mind. He yes. was also considered to be an entitled uh, son of a, yeah. a very uh, famous father. And, you know, so the chips were against him. And look at what happens now. I mean, he's the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh. And, you know, he's going on another yatra. For one and a half years, I remember, Anusha, he was on a Sankalp yatra to prove the point that I'm not entitled. Yeah. He would walk uh, across Andhra Pradesh trying to make the point. And I think Rahul Gandhi is taking a leaf out of that book to make the point that, you know, I don't live grandly. I may be a Gandhi by surname, but to keep on taking attacks on me is completely unfair. Palavi, I also want to understand this. Um, you know, simultaneously, there's the process of the election of the Congress president. Much talk in grapevine, political grapevine, about having a non-Gandhi as the face, as the president of the Congress party. And there is Rahul Gandhi trying to revive his own brand, his political brand and image. How do these multiple factors really play together? Well, I mean, there are two important developments which are going to take place, Anusha. Yeah. One, of course, is the state election, Gujarat and Himachal. Now, mm -hmm. results will come up bang in the middle of the year. And if Congress loses in both the states, I don't even have to tell you what is going to be the implication <laughs> of it. Yeah. Second, of course, is that the presidential elections are going to be taking place. As of now, Rahul seems reluctant to mm. become uh, uh, the president of the party. Mm. But, you know, if he doesn't become the president of the party, then again he's going to send out a message, I'm like an ordinary karikarta, I'll work for the party, mm. but I don't want to hold a position. Absolutely. Palavi, and uh, that word reluctant somewhere has stuck with Rahul Gandhi for quite a while. Let's see if he is, if he's able to shed off that tag with this yatra. Palavi Ghosh getting us all the details. Those are the live shots coming in from Kanyakumari. We'll continue tracking all the political developments here on CNN News 18, slipping into a very short break.